Good day, McBay, and happy Wednesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. Happy birthday today to Christian A. Smith in our fourth grade, Giancarlo Paez in our kindergarten, Mrs. Francis, and also Mr. Minerva. Tomorrow, happy birthday to Mia Dewan in our third grade, Luca Abishvili in our third grade, Ricky Liu in our second grade, Kai Tron in our kindergarten, Noreen Islam, and Mr. Angeli. Wow. So, lots of birthdays. Now, today's lunch is cheeseburger or hamburger, boar's head turkey and cheese sandwich. We also have grilled cheese and bagel lunch. Okay, a couple of things. We're doing much better on orders. The problems at lunch have really gone down, but we're still having trouble with chocolate milks and with getting the right number of hot lunches. Friends, a reminder, if you want chocolate milk for lunch, you must order it in the morning. So your name has to be on the list for your class or on the post-it note that you put on the door or wherever you put the post-it note. Same thing with the lunches. If you want chicken, you have to order the chicken in the morning. You cannot change your mind at lunchtime when you see whatever you brought that's packed. If you brought a lunch from home, that's the lunch that you should eat because that's what your parents wanted you to eat. Okay. Now, tomorrow we are off from school because it's an important day if you're Jewish. Now, we spoke about a holiday called Rosh Hashanah. And that was um, actually just about 10 days ago. It began 10 days ago at uh, sundown. That was when we had off on the 7th and the 8th. So it began the 6th at sundown. And so now 10 days later is a holiday called Yom Kippur. And it's a very important day if you're Jewish. So the people who are celebrating the holiday tomorrow and uh, for some people who will be celebrating Ramadan later in the year, um, they will do something called fast. So they uh, won't eat. And if you are a person who celebrates Ramadan, which we'll learn about later on in the year, you'll know what that means. Fasting means that you go for a time without eating. So this is an important day for people who are Jewish. And if you know somebody who is celebrating that ho holiday, you would say, Gamar? Chatima Tova. And that sort of means uh, well wishes for the day. So for all those people who are celebrating tomorrow, who are, and it's not really a celebration, I shouldn't really say that, who are um, going to be observing Yom Kippur tomorrow, I say, Gamar Chatima Tova. Okay, now let's move on to our get smart project for today our get smart project today is actually coming from christine zhang in room 222 she did a project on cats one of the wonderful things about this project is the amount of time that christine put into the illustrations so for each fun fact that she provided she provided also an illustration so this project took a little bit of time and creativity. So she said that cats are the most popular pets in the world. So what that means is that more families, families that have pets uh, are more likely to have cats than any other single animal. So 
if you added up all the families that have cats as pets and all the families that have dogs as pets, let's say, there'd be more family with cats. If you took all the families with cats and compared them to all the families with rabbits, there would still be more families with rabbits, uh, with cats. And the same thing with birds. So if you have a pet, it's more likely to be a cat than anything else. And how about this? Cats love to play with yarn. And so there's a picture of a cat playing with yarn. Um, now, here's, you may have heard uh, this. Um, cats have nine lives. That's not really true. So she wanted to say, hey, that's a myth. A myth is something that people say uh, might be true, but it's not really true. And then, of course, all the pictures of the cats. Now, uh... I'm saving the Rules of McVeigh for after the Get Smart Show today because for some of you, tomorrow is a day off from school and uh, you will not be observing Yom Kippur. So one of the Rules of McVeigh is to get smart. That's the last rule. So every day you have the chance to get smart, even if there's no school. So we know that we can just keep learning and learning and learning and learning and our brains will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Well, tomorrow is one of those days that you can get smart. Learn about something new and then share it with us for the Get Smart Show. The more you learn, the more you share, the more everybody learns. And that's what we do here at McVay. We keep getting smart about everything. How cool is it to know what the most popular pet is? Well, we know that now because of Christine. And then we learned about the giant squid from Sebastian. Remember that? And we have something super cool for Friday from Sophia DeBoard. Can't wait to show you that. Sophia, by the way, if you're, I know you're watching, I have your Chromebook here. You left it um, here yesterday uh, when you were here with me. So um, please make sure that you stop by and pick it up. All right, so now it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. We're going to get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So this one is coming to us from Christine Zine. So this is something that Christine made. Uh, teachers, listen carefully. She says to all the teachers at McVeigh, you are the best. Love to all the McVeigh teachers. And look at that beautiful painting. This is actually a painting. She painted this. Christine, that is beautiful. And what a lovely thing to do for all the teachers at McVeigh. I couldn't agree more. The teachers at McVeigh are the best. The very, very best. Better than all the rest. I tell them all the time. Uh, they are the best. And I'm glad that you took the time to share that too. So thank you, Christine. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, we're mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.